Hey friends, how's it going? I am back with another reading vlog. This week I'm reading A Court of Silver Flames, and which is the final book in the Akatar series, and I am so excited. I wish I had a copy of the book to show you, but I'm reading it on my phone because none of my bookstores in my area had it, and I was too lazy to order it, so I actually was too impatient to order it, so I don't have a physical copy. Um, that's a problem for later me. Anyways, this week we're reading A Court of Silver Flames, so if you're into reading vlogs, if you want to know more about my thoughts on the final installment of the A Court of Florence and Roses series, definitely stay tuned. Uh, not me getting a whole mani-pedi inspired by this book. <laughs> my pedicure is blue. Um, so normally I would not get nails like this but I figured it was fitting. I just wish I had the book to show you. So I'm about 100 pages in to A Quarter Silver Flames and so far I am like here for it although Nessa is like really getting on my nerves but I'm like trying to give her a little bit of a doubt because I know uh, this book is one of people's favorites. I've also heard that it's like gut-wrenching. Um, <laughs> So anyways, Nesta and Cassian, their vibe right now is very much like grumpy ex sunshine and I'm here for it. Um, something I've never really heard anybody talk about that I find really interesting with the A Court of Thorns and Roses series is how much Sarah J Mass actually talks and discusses the burden of war and for a military spouse whose life kind of revolves around conflict is that's like really refreshing to see and to have touched on because I can feel some of those feelings. I have felt some of those feelings and I can, you know, relate to some of the feelings that the characters are feeling. And I know that like my spouse and people in our lives have felt some of these things that the characters are feeling. So that's been really interesting to read in a fantasy perspective. Um, I haven't really read that before. I'm sure it exists, but I'm not, I haven't delved very far into like adult fantasy and that sort of thing. And I haven't really sought out books with those themes, but it's really nice to just pick up a book and have those themes be portrayed and to have them be portrayed in a way that's well done. Um, so I'm excited to get more into this book and see how Nesta's journey unfolds and what her character arc is because I'm very invested. Um, although I was a little gutted that her and Feyre aren't getting along anymore because because when they were having their moments in Aqua War, I was like, yes, I love this for them. Um, so yeah, I have a beer. I'm going to put a face mask on. I'm going to run a bath, use a bath bomb, and start reading. Sorry if you can hear the TV in the background. Let's, let's watch a movie. I am about to make some dinner. I'm having spaghetti squash uh, with like a veggie sauce. Um, I'm not gonna do this while I'm filming because <laughs> that looks like a disaster waiting to happen. Anyways, uh, so I am, let's see how far in I am. Um, I am on chapter 13, so I'm about 145 pages in. I did not meet my reading goal yesterday of reading 100 pages. I just could not get my life together yesterday. Um, if you're a mom, you know. Um, but when you're watching this, I have tips for reading as busy mom, uh, reading more as a busy mom. So definitely go check that out if you are interested in how I actually work reading into my routine. Um, so today I'm hoping to really bang out 100 pages plus a little extra to catch up. Um, but I did get to the part where Nessa decided that she was going to start training and uh, the tension between her and Cassian is like really building up and also the tension of the general plot outside of Nesta and Cassian is there too and starting to get really interesting. So I'm very, very invested and very excited to see where this goes. I know a couple spoilery things, um, so I'm interested to see when those actually come into play in the story. So I'm gonna make my dinner and check back with you in a little bit. I'm gonna read while stuff is cooking, obviously. 
Hi, Marlo. Hey Google, set a timer for 30 minutes. So I just got to the first mention of the Valkyries, which is super exciting. I am literally so excited right now. <laughs> I just got to the part where Farah tells everybody that she's pregnant. I have been waiting for this minute so much. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep reading, but I just had to pop in and be like, oh my God, they finally told everybody because that's one of the things I knew going into the book that was happening, so yay. This has approximately zero things to do with reading or A Court of Silver Flames, but <laughs> I just picked up these Zevia uh, cola, caffeine-free colas from our Instacart order, and I figured I would try it. I've heard pretty good things about them, so figured I'd get a taste test for you guys. Hmm. I don't know if this will satiate my Diet Coke cravings. Um, but it's pretty good for a caffeine-free, naturally flavored, zero-calorie drink. Cheers. Okay, I turned the camera off and then turned it right back on because I guess I should give you a little bit of a reading update <laughs> while I'm here. Um, so I am on chapter 24, I think. Hi, buddy. I'm on 24, chapter 24. So I'm about to be in part two, which I'm very excited about. There were some very spicy things happening. <laughs> um, and also some really like cool character developments and I'm excited to see what happens next, which is probably what I'm gonna say every time. So it's been a couple of days since I did a reading update. Um, I went to the bookstore and they did not have the book in stock. No, we went to the bookstore yesterday. Maybe, we'll see. Very nice. <laughs> you need a haircut. Yeah, that book's a little old for you, buddy. Yeah, we'll read a book in a minute. Go finish your mac and cheese. Say it again. I read a book. <laughs> You're reading a book? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute since I checked in. I went to the bookstore the other day looking for A Court of Silver Flames. Um, after I actually tried to order it online for in-store pickup because it said they had one, they didn't. Um, and when I went yesterday, they also didn't have it, but they did have the Red Queen, um, which I have been looking to buy because Victoria Aviard, the author, apparently has a whole Instagram 
video series where she talks about how she plotted this and breaks it down um so i think i'm going to read this and do that so if you want to see a reading vlog reading vlog of me reading red queen at some point let me know i think i'm gonna keep these reading vlogs as like little bonus vlogs because i just personally like looking back at them it's a lot easier for me to like sit down and record clips of what i'm thinking about when i'm reading than it is to like write down and remember <laughs> remember things so anyways uh let me know how you like it i am 400 and something pages in um very spicy very very spicy <laughs> and i think so far my favorite thing about a court of silver flames is just how much fan service is in this with like the girls just like relating to each other over reading smut and just it's just so funny um and relatable so yes i'm on chapter 41 which is 56 percent of the way through and i'm excited to see what happens next like i said um honestly i can't remember where i stopped last night so i'll check in with you tonight if i remember to all right time for a reading update i got to about 200 pages left the other night and the part where nessa is like going to is like in the wilderness with cassian just like wrecked me um i don't know if maybe this is just like a me thing but i identified with that so much i think it's often easy to take our frustrations out on others and especially our frustrations with ourself and um you know when we have experienced trauma and that trauma is unresolved or anything like that i think it is definitely easy to take it out on others and just be mean for the sake of being mean and um yeah so i really related with nessa in there because i know i've i've been there um so i have about 200 pages left so yeah i'll check back in with you in a little bit This is gonna end so badly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so that book just wrecked me. Absolutely wrecked me. Although, what I thought happened didn't happen, which is a good thing. <laughs> this book wrecked me in a different way. <laughs> in a hopeful way. <laughs> um, man, that was just, that was a good but it was slow but man that last part part four i read in like two hours i have so many things i want to say and i don't know how to say that so i think i just need to go journal about this book but i just relate so much to that struggle of the themes of grief and you know battling with your dark the darkest parts of yourself 
and not wanting to believe that you're worthy of goodness and man yeah that was a spiritual experience uh now i have no idea what to read next but i hope you enjoyed this reading vlog if you did uh let me know in the comments i'm planning on doing these i think maybe not weekly because i don't know if i can read one book a week um but i'm planning on doing these as like bonus videos just for fun for myself so if there's a reading vlog that you want to see me read if there's i mean <laughs> so if there's a book you want to see me read uh let me know in the comments and uh maybe i'll do a reading vlog so i'll see you next time